I'm a big fan of horror films. I absolutely love clown films because I'm terrified of them. And I love, when it's done well, comedy horror. And Killer Clowns from Outer Space was one that I was curious about. But I wasn't sure if I'd like it because I thought, is this going to be a cheesy gimmick? Or is it actually going to be really clever, good fun? And it's the latter. It's absolutely the latter. This was released in 1988, directed by uh, Stephen Chiodo and written by the Chiodo brothers, starring, among others, Grant Kramer, Susan Snyder and John Allen Nelson. And as you can imagine, this is about clowns from outer space. And the description from IMDb is one sentence, and it's, it's, but it's to the point and it sums it up quite nicely. And this says, aliens who look like clowns come from outer space and terrorise a small town. What's not to love about that? Clowns are terrifying. Aliens can be scary when they're intimidating. These are alien clowns. And the first thing I want to say is that the visual quality of the clowns is incredible. It kind of, on the one hand, looks really cheap. But that kind of gives it an increasingly eerie quality because... They look so ridiculous, but they're carrying out these really sinister, disturbing acts. And that just makes it all the more terrifying because you don't expect them to be so sinister and powerful. So I was really impressed with the visual design of them. I think they're absolutely fantastic. The narrative itself has a brilliant development. It starts off not too slow. I think it gets to the point at a really good rate. And we get our first sniff at the horror aspect and um well the killer aspect of it quite early on it's quite gory and it's rated 15 it's a 15 so it's not over the top but certainly it doesn't hold too much back and it doesn't leave that much to the imagination and that obviously continues from there and then the narrative develops and we switch locations and we get to go inside the spaceship and that's one of my favorite scenes because the set design for that is ridiculous it is so amazing everything looks like it's made out of pink candy floss which just made me so excited it's that you know it's it's that dichotomy of killer clowns and sweet and innocent candy floss it works so well and yet it remains so sinister and creepy it's disgusting and captivating at the same time I I cannot take my eyes away from the screen when I watch this also pink is just a perfect color choice for this because it's such a pretty beautiful my favorite color sweet shade and it's quite a light baby pink and again the contrast with these evil killer clowns with their blood red faces well their blood red smiles and their blood red noses and their ghostly chalk white faces is just it's, it's incredible I really adore this Is there anything bad with this film? No. There isn't. The music's great. The costumes, makeup, incredible. The narrative is brilliant. The non-clown characters I never felt any connection with. But I... I didn't really mind it. I wasn't really that bothered. Some of them I thought, yeah, maybe... Certainly Mike, Grant Kramer. uh, I thought, yeah, I, I kind of like you. I'm rooting for you. But really, it's the visual beauty and the narrative that make this... So great. It's not scary as such. It's It can be a little bit scary. I think if I were watching this in a cinema full of strangers in the dark, that would be intimidating. But watching it on my own or with a friend in a room that's well lit, it's obviously not that intimidating. But it's it's still creepy. And visually, one of the most gorgeous films I've ever seen. Not because the lighting's amazing or because the... You know, everything because everything's perfect, but because it's just such a treat. It's great fun, and yet it's really creepy. I love it. It exceeded any expectations I could have had. If you haven't seen it, definitely watch it. I promise, if this is your kind of film, if you love horror, comedy, clowns, I hate clowns, but I love to be scared by them, this film has it all.